What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? And as you can see right here, we have GOEV, Cano. Or we can see that today we are again a little bit down around 4%, which was, yeah, the expected, as you can see from the prediction made on 21st of July. It was just Thursday, I believe. And as you can see, that, and I just deleted the scenario there that there could have been a great movement right here to the upside, which actually didn't happen. All we did, we just tapped into this beautiful supply of the money area. And technically, after we have broken past the range in here, we are considering bullish price action, okay? So now we should consider some a break above here for right now for me to actually continue and be bullish. If that does not happen, then I'm going to delete this prediction. If that doesn't happen, we're still quite bearish. Now we can go to the tiny bitty time frames and say, okay, so we can see a uh, we can see a break here, and technically, we should be continue to move higher. I mean, yeah, that could be the case to that supply, but then if it is, it will rather maybe just continue to come lower. But yeah, like it's pretty pretty set up for for upside movements. So as I said, it will either just come back uh, above the high and deliver. To the desired high, I'm talking about high five dollars, or it will just continue to fall. So let me know what are your thoughts about GOEV. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned.